Okay, guys, let's continue. Okay, so I changed this to triangle, and this I also changed to triangle, and everything else is the same. Triangle, triangle. Okay, right. So uh, let me enlarge this and show you how it works. Mm, should I make the text a bit bigger? So maybe like uh, 14. Yeah, that will do. Okay, yeah. Right, so I have a uh, bigger. So remember, if when, when, when you do class diagram, the first compartment is always the name of class. The second compartment is the data members. Yeah, all the data members. And the third one is the function. So remember that. And in this case, okay, uh, since if you look at our program here, right, our program here, rectangle inherit from polygon and triangle inherit from polygon. And what we can do here to show the inheritance is by inserting um, an arrow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let me find the arrow. Uh, copy, copy, draw, and insert illustration shapes and arrow here okay so i can always do this okay the arrow up yeah because it inherits up and another arrow from here to here okay uh, let's see, make it a bit nicer to the middle okay and this is how the uh, class diagram for inheritance okay is being drawn remember okay uh if it is um protected it is hashtag if it is public it is plus sign if it is private and it is negative sign okay and uh i think we'll have a better view by changing this to korea new yeah better much better okay much better so remember, right, okay, the class diagram here. I'm going to change the size back to 11. Okay. Right, so that you can see better this way. Okay, so remember, if... Uh, uh, I mean public the uh, protected and the uh, private and there are three compartments okay so the first part is the name of the class the middle compartment uh, I mean middle uh, row here is data members and the last one is function okay and you can see that I've had, as I told you if let's say you have a return value for your function you will always have to put it like this okay teacher if there is a return value if none then it is alright so this is class diagram guys hope you have uh, uh, an easy understanding of how it is being constructed especially in your program so normally we do this before we program it okay but i'm doing it in a reverse uh, manner to sh just show you uh, clearly how uh, it is being executed okay guys i'll see you in the next video okay bye bye thank you